Google has released its new Mate Gemma 27 billion model. We have been covering this model for quite some time now and it is evolving very rapidly. At the moment I would say that this is one of the best if not the best medical LLM out there. It also supports vision now and does it in quite a style. In this video we are going to install it locally and we will be testing it out. But even before that, I want to show you this model in action so that you could appreciate the quality of it. This is a simulated demo which is based on this Matt Gemma. In this simulated demo, which I'm going to run shortly, you will see Matt Gemma acting as an AI agent during a patient intake. So click on select patient, select the patient, and this is a patient with a persona age, gender, and then existing condition at the moment, let's say patient has uh, maybe flu and then launch simulation. Now let's start the conversation and I will just run it for a few minutes and you can also observe. One thing which is extremely salient to note down is the uh, self evolution or evaluation of this model as it updates the patient's information in real time and then gives a very nuanced, grounded response. Let me start the conversation. Thank you for booking an appointment with your primary doctor. I am an assistant here to ask a few questions to help your doctor prepare for your visit. To start, what is your main concern today? I've just been feeling really unwell, like I'm coming down with something. Can you describe the symptoms you are experiencing? Well, I have a fever and I'm feeling hot and cold at the same time. I also have a cough and my throat is really sore. My nose is either running or completely blocked up. And my muscles ache all over. Plus, I have a headache. I'm just so tired, too. Oh, and I've been throwing up a bit and I have diarrhea. When did these symptoms begin? I'd say they started about three days ago. Have you measured your temperature? If so, what was it? No, I haven't measured it. I just know I feel really hot and then really cold. Notes are being updated on the right hand side. How often have you been coughing? It's pretty constant, I'd say. It feels like I'm coughing every few minutes. Is the cough producing any phlegm? If so, what color is it? No, it's a dry cough. I'm not coughing anything up. How severe is your sore throat? Can you rate it on a scale of 1 to 10, with 10 being the worst? I'd say it's about a 7. It's really uncomfortable, especially when I swallow. Have you experienced any shortness of breath or wheezing? No, I haven't. You mentioned muscle aches. Are they worse in any particular part of your body? No, they're just all over. My whole body aches. How many times have you vomited in the last 24 hours? I've only vomited once in the last 24 hours. How many times have you had diarrhea in the last 24 hours? I've had diarrhea twice in the last 24 hours. Have you had any recent contact with anyone who has been sick? No, not that I know of. Have you traveled anywhere recently, outside of your local area? No, I haven't traveled anywhere recently. Have you taken any medications for these symptoms? If so, what and when? No, I haven't. Have you experienced any chest pain or pressure? No, I haven't. Have you noticed any changes in your vision or hearing? No, I haven't noticed any changes in my vision or hearing. Have you had any difficulty urinating or changes in your urine? Okay, so now you get a fair bit of idea how cool this model is. They are, of course, using the Gemini TTS for all the um, text-to-speech and all that stuff. But this is really a um, high-quality medical model. And if you go through my channel, we have covered it a lot in the previous uh, month or so. And not only that, but there are also other medical models. I have also shown you how to even 
fine tune it anyway let's try to get it this thing installed and we will go from there i am going to use this ubuntu system i have one gpu card nvidia rtx a6000 with 48 gb of vram now it's a big model so you would need this 80 gb of vram let me start by creating a virtual environment with conda and by the way i just want to apologize for my voice i'm also suffering from a bit of a flu it seems so just please uh, you know uh, bear with me while i speak anyway so that is done let's now create the prerequisites like torch and transformers i'm just installing them and if you're looking to rent a gpu on good prices you can find the link to master compute in video's description with a discount coupon code of 50 percent for a range of gpus also i want to introduce you to the sponsors of the video who are camel ai camel is an open source community focused on building multi-agent infrastructures for finding the scaling loss with applications in data generation task automation and world simulation and everything is installed let's now log into hugging face because it's a gated model so you would need to log into hugging face and put in your read uh, token which is a free token that you can grab from hugging face uh, website from your profile now let me paste my token here and i'm just going to paste it now there you go so i am now logged in okay that is all good let me now launch my jupyter notebook and then we will start downloading and playing around with this model let's wait for it to get launched and now let's first download the model with the hugging face pipeline and the model is being downloaded as you can see there are 12 shards of it so let's wait shouldn't take too long while that downloads let's talk a bit more about this MedJama model so MedJama is a medical ai model developed by google built on the jama 3 architecture and specifically trained for medical text and image comprehension tasks this model comes in three variants by the way there is a 4 billion multimodal model and that is available in both pre-trained and instruction tune and then we have 27 billion both in text and multimodality these models both all of them utilize a siglip image encoder that has been pre-trained on de-identified medical data including chest x-rays dermatology images opth ophthalmology images and histopathology slides while their language components are trained on diverse medical data sets including medical text question answer pairs fhir based electronic health records and various medical imaging data so if you're looking at building your healthcare based ai apps which i uh, showed you earlier i think this could be a really really good choice you can then integrate it with any TTS or STT model, you can orchestrate the whole conversational um, framework together and then present it to your customers. So a lot can be done here. And if you're looking for any consultancy or ad advice on such architecture, just go to my channel uh, and then from the home page and I will quickly show you. Yes, it's a shameless plug for my consultancy services, but bear with me. So just book a, a meeting here. All the details are there okay so i think the model is now downloaded so model is now completely downloaded which is great first let me show you the text inference with it so all you need to do is in a typical fashion of any llm just give it a system prompt that what exactly is the role of this model it's a medical assistant and then just ask it any medical prompt and then it is going to give you the response now this is where i have to be very very clear please do not use these medical models for you know identifying uh, any of your own medical issues don't use it to cure yourself it is not a replacement or alternative of any uh, human doctor or human physician if you have any condition please don't rely on this just go see a doctor or anyone please don't uh, take advice from this model so I think I'm clear enough. This is just for educational purposes. Um, this is mainly for the medical practitioners to just, you know, uh, empower them, to enable them.
to not only improve the quality of service but also just to make their life easier okay that said and done let's run this and there you go you can see that it has given us a response which looks really good so i just asked the difference between the those two bacteria and viral terms and it has given me this answer because i have just set the max new tokens to 200 it has just given me uh, that much response but looks really cool to me let's ask it a bit more advanced and i mean i'm just going to increase this to maybe 5000 or something let me give it a bit of a harder one so in this next example this is just a fictitious um, scenario where some 67 year old man has some history and then there are a few things which i'm asking about it there are some preconditions there are some allergic reactions <clears throat> risks are being mentioned and then i'm asking it explain the likely culprit vessel potential complication and long-term management strategies so it's a very um, realistic yet quite hard one so let's run this and while it generates the response let's check the vram consumption so it is consuming close to 54 gig of vram so it's a big model as i said but again for a 27 billion one i think it's not bad given the quality of it anyway let's wait for it to come back it is taking its time okay so it has come back with the response let's check it out so again it is understanding the prompt and then it has first taken out the summary of patient so you see very grounded so it is you know if it would be any other general purpose model it won't be doing this but as it is a fine-tuned on the medical domain it understands what it needs to do so just like a digital physician it is uh, going through the patient summary then there's a diagnosis and then immediate interventions within the first hour the full plan is there the risk stratification so what i asked it to do it has very very um, strictly followed the instructions which is always good in these critical domains you see it is even doing ecg analysis and then potential complications long-term strategies really good stuff and then it has given me the summary so you know what i think this is the best medical model i have seen and i have seen plenty i can tell you okay that is all well and good let's try out the more interesting one on the image so what i'm going to do here i am giving it one local image of this x-ray again ai generated and i'm ask, telling it that you're an expert radiologist this is the image describe this x-ray so let's run it and there you go so it has done the x-ray stuff now if you are a radiologist or you understand these x-rays please help us out in checking if it has done the right stuff so it has given us a image description here that it is something this and then the skeletal structure of the chest and all that um, key finding the interpretation the bones lungs heart and soft tissues and then it has given the overall impression so i'll just display it again so look at this and tell me if you think this overall imp impression makes sense and it says it's a normal appearing chest x-ray okay that is good nice okay so now let's try out the next one in the next example i'm going to go with this ophthalmology image and again i have assigned it a, a system prompt then given it this image let's see what it produces again an ai generated one and all i am asking it that do you see any problems in this image and now it is analyzing it and then it is analyzing this from this perspective it says highly stylized possibly artistic very intelligent so yes it's an ai generated one it's not a clinical photograph that is correct and then it is just giving us some of the problems which it sees with this so from a clinical perspective the image does not represent a healthy or normal eye from an artistic perspective it's a creative interpretation therefore the problem are that it deviates significantly from the normal anatomy 
okay so pretty interesting okay let's do a final one maybe we will go with dermatology okay so now in the example of this pigmented lesion which is related to dermat dermatoscopic image I'm asking this model to perform detailed medical image analysis as you can see in this prompt. I'm also asking it to apply some clinical scoring system, generate differential diagnosis and make evidence based management recommendations. And these are all the core competencies for dermatology AI applications. So let's see what sort of uh, output this model produces and if you are a dermatologist or related to that field. Please advise us if you think what sort you know if the response is good enough or not. And we have our response. So you see, so it's it is understanding that dermato dermatoscopic image systematically. This is an image analysis. And again, it has identified that pigmented lesion. And from there it is doing this systematic evaluation on this criteria. I have no idea what that means so if of course i will take the advice of any uh, specialist here but you know what if i just compare it with any other model this looks really cool and i have verified a couple of terminologies look good to me and then there's differential di diagnosis some other stuff so look pretty interesting uh, pretty nuanced so very very impressive model i think this can be used in various AI powered applications because we really need some reliable models in these critical domains. Please like the video and share it among your network and subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. Thank you for all the support.